Today we're talking about combining like terms. Take a second, pause the video, and copy down this entire slide for me. When we discuss like terms, they must have the same variable and exponent. As you can see here, the x is the variable and the second power, or uh, squared, is our exponent. So they must have the same of these two, but not necessarily the same coefficient. So which terms are like terms of this one? Keep in mind, we must have the x squared. This one doesn't have an x squared, it only has an x. Same with this one. This one has an x squared, this one doesn't have an x or an x squared, and this one has an x squared. We consider him 1x squared. It's kind of like saying I have an apple versus I have one apple. It's the same thing. You don't need the one in front of it. Actually, to have this be simplified, um, we need it to not have the one in front of it. So this is the simplified version. Let's try these. Which of the following are like terms? In this one, the 3y and the 2y um, both have a y with no exponent. 5 and 6 are like terms because they don't have exponents or variables. y cubed is all by himself. In this one, 2w squared um, goes along with 3w squared and w squared. 2w and w cubed don't have anybody to hang out with. In this one, we have a negative 4yt, and he goes along with this 3yt, along with 1yt. Negative 4 and negative 4t don't have anybody in common. f squared goes with 3f squared and a negative f squared. 4f and negative 6 don't have anybody in common. And lastly, down here, 19n goes with negative 5n and 2n, but not with the squared or the cubed n's over here. So let's look at what it's like to model this in a real situation. Patricia, Hugo, and Son work at a music store. Each week, Patricia works three more than twice the number of hours that Hugo works. Sun works two less than Hugo. Okay, that seems overwhelming, but we're gonna break it apart. We're gonna let X represent the number of hours that Hugo works each week. And the number of hours that they all work can be modeled like this. So Hugo's hours are X, okay? Patricia's hours are twice Hugo's and then three more. Sun's hours are Hugo's hours, but two less. Okay, so we can model these with tiles to show our hours worked. So if we wanted to model um, the number of hours that both Patricia and Sun work, we can draw the result below and write an expression. So Patricia is 2x plus 3, so we write it right here. Sun's hours is x minus 2, and we can write it like this. Um, remember, you can put a little plus sign in between there if you would like. I like to break it apart like that, but it's up to you. So in this case, how many x's are they working together? 2x and 1x makes 3x. 3 minus 2 makes a positive 1. So they're working 3x plus 1. In this one, they want us to write an expression to find the perimeter of the figure. Perimeter. Notice the word rim in that. That means we are taking the outside of this figure and we are um, adding them together. So this side is the same as this side. So this is technically 2x plus 4. These two were the same. This one's a 4x. And over here we have 3x minus 2. So the first step is to see which ones match up. We've got both of these that are matching up. So I have 
two of those plus two of these x's plus two of these three x minus twos plus four x. Take a second, copy that down, and see if you can solve this. Here's a hint. You already know the distributive property. Use that to uh, make your life easier. Okay, so here's what I did. I doubled each one of these. So 2 times 2x is 4x, and 2 times 4 is 8. I doubled this one and got 2x. I doubled this one and I got 6x minus 4, and then I just left the 4x. Now we're going to combine our like terms. This has an x, this has an x, this has an x, and this has an x. We can skip around because we have that commutative property on our side. 4 plus 6, these two, make 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16x. Then I'm going to take my positive 8 and my negative 4, add them together, different signs, so take the sign of the bigger and subtract. So I get 16x plus 4. Let's try these. Simplify them and combine the like terms. Hint, add the coefficients. Take a second, pause the video, and copy these down for me, and then we're going to walk through them together. Okay, you should have these copied down. The 2x goes with the 6x, so let's add them together and we get 8x plus 2 because the 2 doesn't have anyone to combine with. In number 2, we have 1y and 5y's, so we have 6y's. In number 3, there is nothing we can do because the n is not the same as having no n over here. Same thing with number 4. The, r and the, or the 8r and the negative 7 cannot be combined. Down here, we have 4x minus x. So think about 4x as being in front of you and you taking 1 away. This is a 1x, so we have 3x. Down here, we have 3t minus 2t plus 9t. He's a positive and he's a positive, so I can choose to add them together first and then subtract and get 10t. Or you could just take 3t minus 2t and get t and add that to 9t and still get 10t. Go ahead and try these six, and I'll be back in just a second to show you the answers. Okay, the first step is to combine your like terms and make sure that you know which ones they are. In this one, the x's, the both of them, um, cancel each other out because I have four of each, but this one's a negative. So I have 4xy minus 5xy, so I have a negative xy. Remember, you don't need that one in front. It's not simplified if you put it there. I've got a 12y and a 3y a 6x and an x, and all of these are positive, so we just add them together. All of these are positive, so I just add them together. Now, I like to put them in um, alphabetical order. So really, to simplify this, it would be 7x plus 15y because y comes after x in the alphabet. Over here, we have a 4 minus 3, that's 1, so we get 17x plus 1. Over here, they cancel each other out, we're left with 0. 9y minus 11y is a negative 2y, and a negative 4 plus a positive 7, different signs, take the sign of the bigger and subtract, and we get negative 2y plus 3. Over here, the 3x and the negative 3x cancel each other out, so I'm just left with a positive 2 minus 10. Different signs, subtract, take the sign of the bigger. And that's all I have for you today, so I will see you next time.